Hi, my name is Tamika, and today we're gonna talk about claiming our body, coming into an even more authentic, whole, and truthful relationship with our bodies, and also how this world is changing, the energetics are changing, and that means that all of our bodies are shifting as well. Stay tuned for these messages and more. How are you doing out there? I hope you're doing so well. And I hope you're finding the ground under your feet in this kind of topsy-turvy world that we're in right now. And even if it's for just a few minutes a day, if you're grounding and being able to settle yourself, it makes all the difference. So today I wanna to talk to you about claiming what's happening inside of your body because all of our bodies are changing in certain ways. And that is because the energetics of the world are changing. What do I mean by the energetics? There is an influx of light coming to this planet right now. And it may feel like things are kind of dark or low vibe and you know the, the problems are just like sort of in our face. But you have to remember that when something gets cleaned out, like when you go to clean out a deserted garage, let's say, if you're going to renovate that space, first you've got to sweep all of the dirt out. And when you first walk in there, it can be quite startling to look at all that dirt. And that's exactly what's happening right now on earth. We have to look at a lot of dirt in order to sweep things clean and renovate and make a new reality for all of ourselves. So that's happening and it's an exciting thing. But as it happens in a planetary kind of way, maybe even solar system, galaxy kind of way, Everything shifts within our bodies because we are energetic beings. We are made of light. And of course, we've been through so much in the last two plus years that even those experiences have changed our cellular composition. And hopefully you haven't been too mired in fear because that certainly takes, can, takes things in a really difficult direction. And I certainly have been afraid of lots of things myself over this past while and so it doesn't matter sort of like what it is that you've been afraid of but the fact is that fear never helps our bodies thrive so i think all of us are going through changes in our bodies some of them actually might be very positive but others may feel a little scary or even negative so what i'm gonna suggest to you today is that your body loves it when you are in an authentic expression of what's really going on inside of your body so what i mean by that is that if you're the kind of person that you push through no matter what or you're the one that gets it all done or you're the one that never stops going or you're the one that can do anything for anyone you may be in a place right now where you have to claim what's actually going on in your body you may have to say i can't go to that event you may have to say you know what, the music's too loud and my nervous system feels a little bit off. And it may even be surprising you because you usually don't have a problem with these things. So the fact that you give voice to these challenges that you have affirms your body and it honors your body and actually helps us with healing our bodies when we give voice to them. Now I'm not talking about going into the realm of complaining about every single thing that doesn't feel great in our bodies because that's a whole different story. But I'm talking about the little things, like maybe you find that you need to say to somebody, I can't watch the same movies with you anymore that I used to because they're too adrenalizing and my nervous system feels really off after those movies. I need something calm or rom-com or something such as this. No more horror and suspense. That may be your situation, that might not be you. Or maybe you just need to say, can we slow down our hike or our walk because my hip hurts? Or you may need to say, I need the front seat because I have really bad motion sickness. And it might not even be something sort of negative. You might be like, I can't do this so slow anymore. I need to run. I can't do this slow activity. Some of you may be saying, I can only do restorative yoga right now. Or I can only do the rebounder right now, or I can only go for walks. I don't feel like running at this point in my life. Or you may need to say, I can't climb the ladder anymore because I feel a little dizzy up here. And shit, I used to be able to do this. I can't do this anymore. 
So that's hard, isn't it? Even to admit these things to ourselves can be hard. And that may be all you need to do is admit it to yourself. But then if you can give voice to it with those that are the most important to you, that's gonna really, really help be helpful right now. Because it, what it is, is it's like saying, here I am in this body, I claim this body fully. It's a very concrete way of honoring what's happening inside of our bodies. So I'm not saying that this is an easy thing to do. It certainly isn't easy for me. So I'm totally with you. The other day I was going for a walk and a neighbor was wanting to talk to me for a long time in the heat of the day and my dog was panting and I could blame it on her, but honestly I was panting inside and I was done. I just needed to come home at the end of that walk. And I had to say, and I could tell, it wasn't comfortable to cut off that conversation, but I had to, and I had to, and instead of just saying the dog needs water, which would have been easy to say, I said, I can't stand here anymore. I need to go, I need to get inside. I need to slow myself down and cool off. That was hard for me to say that. That person um, seemed fine in that situation, but I wasn't. So what I'm saying is that this isn't always easy and I understand. <laughs> but the value of doing it stands alone and it will serve you in the healing process. Now, I think that it is really partly the new age sphere that has created some of this um, distortion in how we talk about ourselves because sometimes we think if we say something negative that we're gonna give power to it, which can be true in some circumstances, or if we say it too much, it's gonna make it worse but I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about complaining or my, getting mired in it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being honest with yourself and with your loved ones about how you really feel in your body. And that allows us to sink into this body in a much more profound way. We are here on earth at a difficult time, but I believe we're here because we're needed and we're also here because we need the experience of going through what we're going through. Not just to help others, we're not just needed for them. We're needed to learn the lessons inside of our own experience because it always starts with us, right? And learn those experiences and to turn them into something grand and beautiful. And so take heart if things have been a little bit topsy-turvy for you, but also know that your body loves it when you be honest. All of you will find your way in this. And I just wanna say I'm grateful that we're on this path together and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.